Welcome back. Moving forward in this lecture, I'm going to demonstrate how to go about creating the Kubernetes cluster. So we already have an account at Google Cloud Platform, right? We've signed in. And once you're signed in, you can create a project, which I already have created. It's called Syed-5757. So once you create the project, of course, you need to place the project or have the project somewhere in the Kubernetes cluster. Within the Kubernetes cluster, we're going to have an instance, right? Which means that we are going to spin up some virtual machines so that we can start to actually communicate and connect with GitLab and pull the repositories and use the Nginx to get on the web right so we can view it on the website so the entire framework is kind of makes sense right because we have the Google Cloud Platform as our base fundamental platform right like it's a house think of it as a house that kind of houses all these things so within the platform we are going to connect GitLab where we actually have developers all across the world maybe all, all across the country connecting and doing some merge requests some pull requests some changes to the code on a regular basis so all of that is reflected in real time right using the kubernetes engine or the kubernetes tool within the google cloud platform so that as you're developing scalable applications or enterprise level applications this whole concept kind of fits in so but apart from this entire macro overview, once again, let's specifically focus in this lecture on creating the cluster. So from within the Google Cloud Platform, let's jump right in. Let me go ahead and go to first, let's take a look at the Kubernetes engine, right? So as soon as you navigate to Kubernetes engine, notice at this point, there's no cluster. So we need to go ahead and first create a cluster. So let's click on create cluster. So fairly straightforward, just run through it. Let's give it a cluster name. You can give it any name. For example, I can call it Cladesk 5 cluster because that's the project that I'm using in GitLab or wherever else, right? You can name it differently if you like. So that's the name of the cluster. The description is optional. You can select the zone. Right now we're in US Central 1A, or you can do the Eastern Zone 1B, Eastern 1C, and so on. There are different zones that you can actually use to create the cluster in. And then the cluster version, the machine type that you wish to choose, whether it's one CPU or more than one CPUs, you can have eight or 16 CPUs, 96 CPUs. That's gonna cost you, right? So remember, keep in mind that this is per minute billing, right? So just this is for our own consumption, but in real world, you may have instances where you have an enterprise level application that needs 96 CPUs. That's pretty powerful. Anyways, we're going to keep it to one for now. And then once you select the actual machine type, which is one CPU, it gives you the kind of the memory behind it. The node image provides better security and performance but has some limitations that may affect some users so we are going to be using ubuntu right if you're affected by these limitations we use the the shell and the command line ubuntu that's much easier and faster way to do things so the containers optimized os is three two cpus it's going to take about seven and a half gigs of memory you can increase the size to three if you like so it depends on how many cores you like the cluster instances are pretty standard, so we're going to leave all of this and just go ahead and end. Before I click on create, notice it kind of tells you you'll be built for the two nodes, VM instances in your cluster. If I click more, it gives you more advanced options where you can add additional zones and play around with Kubernetes alpha features, the client certificate, auto scaling, the boot disk size, and so on. So I'm going to go ahead, scroll all the way down and click on create and it's going to go ahead and start to create the cluster called Cladesk 5. The cluster size is 2 with the total cores of 2 CPUs with 7.5 gig of memory. And it takes about 
few minutes, sometimes three to five minutes. Perfect. So once our cluster is created, we can navigate to connect to this cluster. So let's click on connect and a couple of options that it provides you the command line access. You can simply copy it and run it in the shell or you can open up the cloud console dashboard. So let's first run the cloud shell here. And what this does is opens up the shell here for you. You can of course go on the top here. Notice this little icon on the top menu, which is the shell, which is the same thing as the Google Cloud Shell. So it's gonna to try to connect to our cluster. And this is just to demonstrate that now that we are connected to this cluster, it automatically pulls the command for us so that we could actually connect to the cluster itself. Now I'm gonna hit the enter key and it's gonna go ahead and connect to the cluster. First is gonna fetch the cluster endpoint and the authorization data, the cube config and regenerated for Claydesk 5, and we are good to go. So in this lesson, just wanted to demonstrate how to go ahead and create a Kubernetes cluster. So practice with this, and with this, let's move to the next lesson.